Okay. Uh, hi, grade nines. Sorry that I'm not here. This is Miss Stone. And of course, you got Miss McBride and you got Miss Birkeland. And uh, we do have more algebra today. I personally just love this, uh, this little thing here on the side. Um, you think you don't use algebra, but you do all the time is the moral of that. Anyway, so uh, what we're up to, of course, is um, the three minute review. Maybe you've done that already and you've handed it in to Miss Birkeland or Miss McBride. Um, the partner work I'll talk to you about in a moment. The, uh, I'd like you to be through the partner work for 9.30 and to do this lesson on subtracting polynomials, which is definitely something that requires practice and patience on your part, a skills and then an exit card, okay? Um, the partner work today, we're going to pause this video as soon as I explain this to you. It's going to be very similar to what we did yesterday. You need a red partner, a positive partner, and a negative partner. And this time we're doing similar, very similar ideas yesterday, except for we're doing questions like we learned in our lesson where you have um, the terms are in brackets. Okay? So I'm sure that Ms. Birkeland and Ms. McBride will be able to help you with that, no problem. So why don't we just pause this uh, video and spend until about 9.30 to get that done. Okay? And I'm, I'm going to keep talking, I'm gonna, um, assuming that the video is paused. And I'm going to now assume it's about 9.30 in the morning. And you're done your partner work. And now we're on our lesson of subtracting two polynomials, which means one polynomial from another. Okay? Um, and it really, like yesterday we added polynomials. Today we're subtracting. And the real idea I need you to keep in mind, just like when subtracting integers, like numbers, um, you know, instead of subtracting, you can always add the opposite. And I'm going to show you a couple methods today uh, for subtracting polynomials. I'm going to focus on adding the opposite and focus on using the algebra tiles uh, to, to do the work, to help you with the work. So um, anyways, but like just to start here. So if we're subtracting, like if you just look at this number example here, 6 minus, and I'm subtracting a positive number, which is really just saying 6 subtract 2. Um, but you can always write 6 minus 2 as 6 plus negative 2. Like subtracting a positive is like adding a negative. I'm sure you learned that at some point in your, in your career. So, um, so if you want to subtract 2, you're really adding negative 2, and, and they're the same thing. Um, this example here, minus 6 subtract 2, well, now we're, we're, we're losing, we're making things more negative. It's starting at minus 6. I like to think of this as losing, or you could think of it as like adding another negative 2 degrees. So I always think of integers as degrees. So if we minus 6 degrees, we're going to get another 2 degrees cold. We're adding a negative 2, right? And that becomes minus 8 degrees. Um, where this skill of adding the opposite is most important is when you're adding a negative. So, sorry, subtracting a negative. So you're subtracting a negative is like adding a positive. And, you know, the way I like to think about that, um, like, I don't know if this makes sense to you, but, like, say you're on a team, a team sport. Okay, it's a soccer team. And say you have, like, you rank your players. You've got positive players and negative players. And imagine you've got a couple, like, negative players. Like, they kind of suck, okay? You have two negative players. And, and I can say this with some humility because I would definitely have been a negative player. <laughs> I suck at sports. And so if I was, if you're on a team and your team has a rating and say you lost two of your negative players, like two of your sucky players, after you lose two negative players, the team is actually a better team, right? Because now you're concentrated on more of your better players. So losing those two negatives made you more positive. And that's how I always remember the six, that six minus minus two is six plus two. Adding a negative, or sorry, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive lose two bad players, you become a better team, okay? Um, but we've been talking about not numbers so much. We've been talking about, you know, these polynomials. And a polynomial, of course, is just anything where you've got letters and numbers all added up together. And we want to simplify the expressions this is our big goal. And so we're subtracting, say we have this expression here, 4x plus 6. We want to subtract 2x plus 3. Well, the strategy I really want you to work on today, and, and you know, you can use tiles to do this, but we don't subtract using tiles. Like, that's a hard thing to do. But we can add the opposite. So if you had 2x plus 3, so what's the opposite to that? It's like you make the 2x a minus 2x, and you make that, instead of plus 3, you minus 3. So everything changes sign. Everything that's in the second bracket changes sign. 
So then if we we're going to continue, so instead of going 4x plus 6 minus bracket 2x plus 3, we're going to say 4x plus 6, and we're going to add negative 2x minus 3. We're going to add the opposite. And now this looks like a question we did yesterday in class. And I would suggest using the tiles to do this. And, uh, you, you know, you can write it out like so, but really if you use the tiles, you could put it right up on the board. And in fact, I would like it if someone could do that in the class right now. You could set up on the, on the sideboard there on the projector, get the tiles out, and just remember, you're just adding negative 2x. So this should be, you know, your 4x's or your 4 red, long skinny reds, and you got 2 blue x's. And you have your plus six, so your six little red boxes, and your three blue boxes. And you can do your cancellations, but you should end up with two x plus three. Okay. Um, you know, looking at it this way, all I did was I just going straight down the algebra without the tiles. Was at this point, um, I can put my terms, to lose the brackets, and I'm adding a negative, which is just subtracting. Okay. Um, and then I've got my, again, now I have plus 6, and I have added a negative, which is so far. So, that's the other way you could do it. This one here, more complicated one, and I really do suggest the use of the tiles. The first step is to identify the negative of this expression, the second polynomial. And it's going to be, you make that, that's just an inside the bracket, that's just an x squared, right? So you make it a minus x squared. This is minus 6x, so you make it plus 6x. This is plus 4, so you make it minus 4. So what I would like you to do then is to take, this is the expression you're going to do, and, try, and get it on the tiles, get someone up on the tiles there. And if you could do this on the overhead, um, just go through with the class. Exactly, you can pause this, but go through all the steps then of getting your answer. So pause the tape, see you with the tiles, and like I say, someone should be up on the projector doing this, whether it's Miss McBride, or one of one of you guys, one of the class, somebody get up there and show us what the answer would be using the tiles. Because I really think it's so much easier to not make a mistake with the tiles. I really suggest you use it. It's just too easy to screw up if you don't. Anyway, um, hopefully you've got your answer. Before you get your answer, now I'm gonna I assume you've got an answer. You've got a guess on what the answer is because you put it up on the tiles. And I'm going to now just go through um, if I was going to rewrite that, the next line, so if you use the tiles, you can kind of skip this line here, right? If you use the tiles, all you have to do is show this and then show the answer. That's, but without the tiles, I would need to see this step where you're saying 2x, and then I've got minus x squared here, so this becomes a 1, by the way. That's just a 1 for right there. I have my plus 5x, there's my plus 6x, so side by each. There's the plus 3 and the minus 4, and it's really important to remember with these that you keep, like, see that 5 has that five has a plus in front of it? That 5 has a plus in front of it. Um, this has a negative in front of it. That has a negative in front of it. This 4 has a negative. That has a negative. So you, the sign that's in front of the number stays with it. So when you're using it this way, you have a few more rules you have to remember. And, of course, it's. I do think it's important to get to do the questions, like, just by hand. But to me, the tiles are such a great way to get going on it, get comfortable with it, and get good at it. It's kind of like using Desmos for solving equations. It's not really the way you should do it forever, but you're allowed to. You're allowed to. Now, you won't lose any marks for using the tiles, none at all. Desmos for equations, you might lose marks for, but you won't lose any for doing this. Anyway, so there's your answer. Hopefully that's what you got. Um, just to show you, like, sort of a different way. <coughs> um, if we think about another approach is to simply subtract each term inside the brackets. Like, just do it sort of in one step. Um, you have to recall how to subtract a positive or negative term. So when you're subtracting a positive, it's just a subtract. But if you're subtracting a negative, you're adding, right? So if I'm doing 6 minus 2, 6 minus plus 2 is just 6 minus 2. You're losing, right? You're losing two good players. Here, I'm kind of a bad team already, and I'm losing six good players. So I become a negative team. Um, here I'm a negative team, and I'm going to lose two good players. Like those are uh, two is a positive, so I become even more negative. Um, but down here, if I'm subtracting a negative, uh, I just add. So it's six minus minus two. Like I said, it's plus two. Two minus minus six. 
is 2 plus 6. Minus 6 minus minus 2 is minus 6 plus 2, so that's minus 4. And finally, minus 2 minus minus 6 is minus 2 plus 6, which is minus 2 degrees, add 6 degrees, 4 degrees. Um, so you can do that and skip the tiles with like these questions here. I think I think it's hard and you're more likely to make mistakes. Um, so if I look at this one and I want to rewrite the next line, I'd say, okay, well, that 2x is subtracted, so it has to have a negative sign in front of it. And this 3 is subtracted, right, because it's inside the bracket, so that, has, that negative has to carry over, okay? So because I'm subtracting plus 3, that's a subtract. And that's the idea I want you to have on these. And that's why I think these are harder. We're more likely to... Um, but anyways, now you have 4 minus 2, so you should have 2x's, and 6 minus 3, so it should be 3. Okay, so this is just a different way to do the questions, a different approach to the questions, using, you know, not using the tiles, just writing out the steps and thinking of subtracting. So here i got to go 2x squared. It's going to be minus, that's an x squared, so minus an x squared. Um, should be the first thing. And then I've got 5x, that's a plus, but I have to, sub subtracting negative 6x, so I have to add 6x. So subtracting a negative is adding a positive. And then I've got 3, and I'm subtracting positive 4, so that's just subtracting 4. Okay? So these two questions we did at the top of the page. And we did it the way that I'm going to... This is a perfectly... Like what you see in front of you, This, if you get that it's cool, just do it. But if you're making lots of mistakes and you're not getting it, I really want you to use the algebra trials, tiles and, and think of it in terms of adding the negative. Okay, and that's the way we're going to do the rest of our examples. If I'm going too fast, just pause, please. All right, next. So we're going to do these. Uh, I'm just doing these four examples. That's it for the note. We're going to add the opposite and use algebra tiles. So every time we do it, I want you to pause the tape and put it up on the tiles, okay? So I need to subtract these two. The thing to remember on the second term is what's the opposite to this. And all you do to find the opposite is you take that negative and you make it a positive. You take that negative make it a positive. So finding the opposite is just changing the sign on everything inside the bracket. So then instead of 5x minus 3 minus bracket minus x minus, minus x minus 3, you go 5x minus 3 and you add the opposite. Okay, so we're adding the opposite. And that makes this a much easier question. And again, you can now put that into the, put your tiles on and get your answer. Okay? And it works out to just 6x. Okay, so at this, once you have this stage here, you can put it on the tiles and you should get your answer. Okay? Um, this one here, the next one over, again, please just pause whenever. But here again, I have to identify the opposite to the second term here. So those are both negative, so they need to become both positive. So that makes my expression this one here, and I have to add the opposite. So now I think you should go up on the tiles, pause the tape, go up on the tiles and get your answer, because then we want to predict predict what if it's going to match what I'm going to come up with here. So if you use the tiles, all you have to do is show me maybe this step here, what you see here, and then the answer. This is just an, another second intermediate step, but there's the answer, 7 plus 7x squared. Okay. This line here just means I'm collecting the 4 and the 3, because they're both like terms, and 3x squared and the 4x squared, because they're the like terms. And everything's positive now, so it's easy. Ish. Easy-ish. Okay, this one here. Again, I need to identify what's the opposite to x squared minus 2x. Maybe take a second and predict what that might be. If someone could raise their hand in this left right and tell me what you think that that could be, you can pause me. Um, so hopefully someone made a guess, and hopefully you guessed, somebody guessed correctly, that the opposite to x squared minus 2x is minus x squared and add 2x. Okay, so again, that becomes minus, and that's got a minus in front, so it becomes a plus. Once you do that, now there's your new expression, because you're going to add this opposite. Put that on your algebra tiles, and you should be able to get your answer. Um, there's the intermediate step. Again, you don't need to show me if you're using algebra tiles, and then there's your answer. So if you did the tiles, you should, you should have got this already, okay? And one more question. Um, again, predict what the opposite to the second term is. 
What would that opposite be? Pause the tape, make a prediction. And hopefully you got minus x squared, minus 6x, and plus 3. Just change the sign of everything. <laughs> Excuse me. Now we have to take the first expression and we have to add the opposite. And you should put that on the tiles. So pause the tape, put it on the tiles. And hopefully you end up with uh, 1x squared minus 11x plus 7. Okay. So that's the lesson part. Um, I'd like to move on to skills now. If you don't have time, you can skip the skills. You should, uh, if, if it's before... If it's, as long as it's before 10 o'clock, you should have time for the skills, okay? So if it's, if it's, not, if it's 10 o'clock right now or later, you should move right onto the exit card. If it's before 10 o'clock, then you've got time for this. So write it out, get your sheets. Once you've got it all written out, pause the tape for the two, set, two minutes, and then, I'll, and then start the tape and the answers will come up, okay? So I'm going to assume you're going to pause now, and you're back. Hello there. There's your answers. So check your answers, give yourself a score out of 25, and keep track of your score, please. And now you should have your exit card should be handed out to you. So the two things you should be doing right now is one, is entering this data in your spreadsheet, and two, you should be um, getting your exit card put in front of you. And I just want you to see, like what I'm hoping to see on your exit card is that if you're using the algebra tiles, um, the number of steps I think would be perfect would be if you're using algebra tiles then this is your question um, I would like to see the step where you write down what the opposite is you know so then you have this step and then you have your answer if you're not using tiles you should have this number of steps written down okay the whole thing so you go ahead pick your strategy do that exit card and hand it in and have a great uh, Thursday. I will see you on a fun Friday. That's it.